What's going on, everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, I went to a baseball card shop because I've got some vintage baseball cards that I wanted to get graded. But while I was there, I found some comic books and I found some amazing comic books for great deals. Hopefully you guys are excited for this video. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortboxed app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below that lets them know that I sent you. Go to that link and download the app for both Apple and Android devices and start shopping today. I dropped off four cards with Joe, the owner, to get graded. We've got Willie Mays, Jackie Robinson, Ted Williams, and Yogi Berra, all 1954 Tops cards. Just wanted to get them graded by PSA, and so uh, I've done a grading with him before and it's been awesome. I got the Jimmy Brown rookie card graded. So I sent those off. Then I was looking in the comics in the back with Jeremy. Saw these really great Justice Society of America Alex Ross covers. And I love these things. You saw the Black Adam, the very, very first cover. I really like the portrait style like this one with Liberty Bell. Here's you got Commander Steel. And then there's Superman, you know, there's all, all these Justice Society of America. You've got the Superman one right there, and then coming up is the Power Girl. All great covers, and honestly, I've had them so many times, I would love to get them all, and maybe even put them up as a border or something. Here's their case, really great books. You've got the New 52 Batman number one, you've got some Adam Hughes, First Black Lightning, Miss Marvel, you've got some Journey into Mystery, um... Some great books. First Parasite, First Appearance of Hawk and Dove. There's the first Shazam in DC Comics. And then Batman 251 just literally put it in the display case. And I'm looking through the slabs on the counter. There's a nice Art Germ 9.8 signed. Black and White Amazing Spider-Man number 1, 9.6. I really like this one, Jay Hung Lee. Beautiful 9.8 signed. It's awesome book. Nice Wolverine Weapon X variant. And then on the other side of the counter, there's these boxes with a bunch of signed books. They've got Adam Hughes, Greg Land, J. Scott Campbell, lots of great stuff. These were very interesting and very, very tempting. I'm not sure who that's signed by, but it's 10 bucks a book for these Marvel's Alex Ross. And so I pulled them out. I think that gold marker is beautiful on those acetate covers. $10 a piece, 30 bucks for the set. I, you know, I'd probably pay that for just the set alone without the signatures, but that's beautiful. Then I pulled out these Liberty Bell, Frank Cho, signed. Frank Cho has a very specific, identifiable signature. Mark Wade signed on that Impulse number 1. Francesco, signatures on these Grim Fairy Tales. So I continue to flip through multiple copies of that. I'm not sure what that book is. Another Francesco signature. A lot of great cover buys with signatures on them in the shop. Here's a Greg Land. Caught my eye. Very recognizable signature as well. Some Red Sonia. Just nice independent stuff. Here you get some J. Scott Campbell. Goodness. Danger Girls. Lots of... I, I'm not even sure if that's a J. Scott Campbell cover. It really doesn't look like it to me, but I'm, I mean, he signed it, so it must be... Another, that's a great J. Scott Campbell cover. Greg Land, Fantastic Four, Ultimate Fantastic Four, good stuff. I think that's a Greg Land cover as well with Huntress. Continuing to flip through these books. Nice Lady, uh, Phantom Lady, Adam Hughes signature. That was a good one. I should probably pick that up. Dan Jurgens on that Spider-Man. And then I flipped right to that Michael Turner signature. 10 bucks. That's a great signature. Another great Greg Land cover and signature, Adam Hughes. And then they've got tons of this Catwoman, Adam Hughes, Red Sonia. Those are great books. Some more Greg Land, some more Adam Hughes. That, that, those Tomb Raider Adam Hughes covers are very, very sought after and pretty good, you know, value on them. There's another Michael Turner Soulfire. Just neat books. I spent a little bit of time in this section. There's another Adam Hughes, uh, Red Sonia back there. Sign. There's another one. 
some Catwoman. Catwoman, pre-New 52, Adam Hughes covers are one of my favorite and I think really like a modern classic. Hero Comics 2011, J. Scott Campbell, great cover. There's another great J. Scott Campbell. Zatanna on the Catwoman covers, those are classic as well. Good, good stuff. Also, the Wonder Woman Adam Hughes covers are very great as well. And the reason why I pulled these ones out of like the cheap bin, they're either 50 cents or a dollar and 25 cents maybe, was because they're all newsstand copies. And I thought that was pretty neat. I didn't look any of these up. I just wanted to demonstrate what's in their um, discount bins. They've got all this kind of stuff. And who knows, one of those may be worth a lot of money. I don't know. But I didn't, I didn't spend the time to look them up. And then I see this across the way. It looks like an original art, but when you get up close, you can tell that it's a print. You can tell that there's printer lines on it and everything like that. But he did have this Black Terror from Dynamite Comics. Number one, I'm not sure what the page was, but great double spread there. And then he had these uncut sheets of cards, like trading cards. I thought those were really cool. He's got some Star Wars ones. That is um, Buzz Aldrin, maybe Neil Armstrong. The reason why I was looking through these Supergirl pre-New 52s was because I wanted to find some Michael Turner covers and some Joshua Middleton variants. And so I know there's some Joshua Middleton covers. Like that one is a Joshua Middleton cover, I believe. That's an Alex Ross. The Joshua Middleton right here, um, that's Joshua Middleton. I just, I, it's some of his early work, or at least early work to me. Um, but I think they're great. And then, of course, I was looking for Legion of Supergirl, or Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes, number 23, the Adam Hughes. But then I did come across this J. Scott Campbell. So when you find those J. Scott Campbells from tw 2012, 2013, kind of when he was hitting, like, on all cylinders, I always gravitate towards those. I don't even know or am concerned about the value, but I always get them. Brave and the Bold, I'm looking for 33. It's the prelude to Killing Joke. So I pull out this box and I see a bunch of bunch of Brave and the Bold. And of course, there it is. So I was very, very happy. This just collection is just really unpicked as far as DC goes. I really don't know much about the Marvel stuff, but I, I haven't really spent the time to dig through there. But I'm sure there's some pretty good covers and pretty good variants. So I'm definitely going to spend some time digging through there. I'm looking for a, a Catwoman 83, which is the Adam Hughes cover the series ended at 82 and there it is i found it the series ended at 82 and then during blackest night when they were doing the one shots it came back out or it was not one shots but it was three series of three and catwoman had a one shot so it was a nice adam hughes nice batman covers i'm looking for variants for this pre-new 52 batman run i didn't really find any but one almost stopped me in my tracks and it's coming up here. I thought it may be something. It might be that one. I was like, oh, that might be the variant, but it wasn't. Um, so I'm continuing to look through here for variants, but just great books, great covers, great stories. And I think the bin right below that Batman section was this DC Comics present. So of course I'm looking for the first appearance of the Teen Titans. I'm looking for the first appearance of He-Man in DC Comics. Also, the first appearance of Mongol, but there's one particular book that is my absolute favorite in this run, and it's a first appearance. If you can guess what it is, I'm sure you can probably guess what it is, but it's um, mention it down in the comments below before we get to it. It'll be at the end of uh, this, flipping through this section right here. It is my absolute, one of my absolute favorite characters in DC Comics, a tragic hero slash villain. And here it is. It is number 87, the first appearance of Superboy Prime. $10. I should have bought it. I should buy that book every single time I see it because I really do like that one. It's one of my favorite characters. There's some really nice Adam Hughes Batgirl covers. And then this one's pre-New 52, Art Germ Batgirl. So that was a really great cover. And that one used to be quite pricey. As I was digging through, I found this Catwoman Adam Hughes cover. And it's one of the better ones in that series. They were asking $40 for that one, so I put that one aside. And then I was looking through this awesome Justice League of America, and I'm looking for one book. It's one that I do pick up every single time, and it is coming up here. There's number two. I always think that Michael Turner is a variant. Um, that one might be a variant. I'm not sure. This one might be a variant, but 
it's coming up next, and it is number six, the Adam Hughes variant for that book. Always pull that one out when I see it. Love these pre New 52 Justice League of America variants. There's the connecting covers eight, nine, and ten. And then I continue to look because there are some really great variants in that run, especially the later ones when you've got the David Mack variants. But I didn't find any other variants in that. But I continued to look just a little bit and you started to get to like the New 52 and Rebirth and so I wasn't too interested. Now I did find these awesome Justice Alex Ross second prints. And so those were different covers. And for a long time, about 10 years ago, those were ghosts. Um, everybody was searching for them. And to find a stack like that was a blessing. Now in this, I'm looking for Green Lantern pre-New 52 variants. There's some really, really good ones. And I love that Jeff John storyline. It's one of my favorite storylines ever from Green Lantern Rebirth all the way to Blackest Night. Fantastic. Um, storytelling, fantastic um, characters and artwork. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find any variants in this box for the Green Lantern Pre-New 52 stuff, but it's always just good to look at those. If you ever need a really good Green Lantern read and you've never read the Jeff Johns run, give it a try. It's well, well worth it. Last couple books I pulled out were these Vampirellas. I remember the Doom 143 showing these and David Seeking Near Mint comics. Mike Mayhew is an amazing artist and these were pretty special books. I thought they were definitely worth the pickup. So I had an awesome time at Backseat Cards and Collectibles in Champaign, Illinois. As you saw from the footage, they've got really great back issue bins. I really went heavily on the DC stuff, but I know that there's great stuff in the back issues of the Marvel stuff. I just haven't had the time to go through there thoroughly and look for variant covers. So that's what I'm going to do the next time I go in there. But I did pick up some books and I'll show you guys what I picked up and then how much I paid. For the first stack, it's these Vampirella Mike Mayhew covers. I don't know what numbers they are because I haven't opened them up. They're strictly cover buys and I haven't rebagged them either. Not yet. I will rebag these and then um, put them into Mylar. So this is Vampirella Mike Mayhew. There's a signature down there or at least the mark. And then this one was $2. I don't think these go for crazy money like I thought they did when I pulled them. The most they would go for is like a $20 bill on a really nice high grade one. Here is this Vampirella. Also $2 on this one. I think I've seen this one online being one of the more key issues. $2 for that one as well. This one's pretty cool and seems to be in pretty nice condition. This is another one that I see you know, online being a more desired issue there's scuffing there and there otherwise oh and a little bit down there otherwise pretty decent copy this one needs a pressing it's got a color couple non-color breaking spine ticks all of these were two dollars a piece now this is the last one and this is the one that i had seen the doom 143 or seeking near mint comics post and i think it's the one the most desirable one out of it but it really doesn't go for much i thought this was a, a you know pretty rare variant and i i think it might be even a standard cover but it's mike mayhew vampirella and i think people like this one the best and and the most it will probably go is 20 bucks all right i've got another stack of books here that you saw most of these in the video but this is batgirl number one new 52 adam hughes cover i, I like the book there there's a key first appearance in here but i don't really care about that first appearance it's more about the adam hughes cover on that this one does seem to go for a little bit maybe 20 to 40 dollars probably depending on condition and if it's graded or not grim fairy tales wonderland number 17 and this is a c cover so it is a harder to find variant there's not very many listed not very many sold but i knew that you know being a xenoscope variant it probably would go for a decent amount and I bought this one to probably resell at the Big River Comic Con in Hannibal in April, Hannibal, Missouri. And then I saw this one too. And anytime you see 2013 J. Scott Campbell, I think this title is also pretty desirable, especially if it's like a mermaid cover. But this one was a J. Scott Campbell from 2013 cover. Thought that one was pretty neat. Anytime you see that kind of older stuff, I think this is when J. Scott Campbell was kind of hitting on all cylinders, doing the best work. Some more DC 
great books. This one is an A cover, but like I said in the footage, the series ended at 82, and then they brought back Adam Hughes to do this cover for Catwoman 83 in Blackest Night. I think this is a one shot compared to the other ones, which were three issues, a mini series, kind of like tie ins. I, I don't know what that one goes for, but I know it goes for a little bit of a premium just because it's one of the better covers. Now, these are second prints, and these are awesome. Several years ago, these were going for big, big money. I used to go for them, I used to find them, and I was super pumped about it, but Justice, the Alex Ross series. I've never owned the Superman one. I've seen it out in the wild, but it's like I said, second print, Alex Ross, and this one was $1.50. Two copies of the Batman. I think these are my second and third copy of this. I, I think I've got a couple of these, but I'm not I'm not sure how many. But yeah, great Alex Ross cover. Paid $1.50 for each of these. This is the one that was always the chase book for me and I think a lot of other people. Once again, Alex Ross, second print variant, the one with the Shazam on it, $1.50, Justice number five. So check those back issue bins for these second print variants. They're not going for too much anymore, but they used to be awesome. Love pre-New 52 variants like those. I'll pick this one up every single time. I got the, the last one that I got was from them and I think I got actually another one right over here still need to open that one Justice League of America I paid a dollar fifty for this one number six the Adam Hughes Black Canary variant this one doesn't go for much like what the heck this should go for a lot more than what it's going for if you can find that for a dollar fifty buy it every single time last two books really happy that I picked these ones up I will always look for this one it is Brave and the Bold number 33 from 2010 this is the girls night out prelude to the killing Joe Wonder Woman Zatanna and Batgirl have a girls night out really cool book always look for this one it's a very important key and a very important storyline last one I picked up this book is surprisingly it goes for a lot this one has a couple spine ticks so it's not going to be a 9-8 I think this book in 9-8 is close to $200 raw condition and high grade this one goes for maybe $60 they had a $40 price sticker on this one Catwoman number 74 one of the better covers in this Catwoman series I think there's I think 51 is the most desirable I think 74 is the next desirable there's a red cover that's also desirable then some of the Zatanna covers but anyways these were standard covers back in 2008 so yeah great great Adam Hughes covers but that's it you guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you all if you could hit that subscription button if you're not already subscribed hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos hit that thumbs up everybody really do appreciate it it gets the video out to more people that are not currently watching the channel and then comment down below what you thought about this if you've ever been to box seat cards and collectibles in Champaign Illinois I would love to hear from you and I'll talk to you all on the next one see you bye